Okay, so I put together a quick spreadsheet. It's kind of scary. Um, this in column C is the actual confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Uh, January 23rd, confirmed 440, 571, etc. Now, we all believe that these are low numbers, that China is not actually telling us how many people are there, but I'm just going to go with what's been confirmed. I did this in column D, a percentage increase per day. So as you can see, between January 23rd, 24th, there was a 1.29. So that means it increased by about 29.7% that day um, to get to the 571. I, I ran these numbers just for the last couple weeks, and I found that we have an average of a 1.33 as the, as the increase. So a 33% per day is the increase in the numbers, with a low of a 1.7, uh, a high of a 1.64. So I just ran a couple little spreadsheets just to figure out what, where this is taking us. If we just take the average of the 1.33 per day, so a 33% increase per day, then February 7th, we should see 31,000 people. At that rate increase, by February 20th, we have 1.2 million people. By March 15th, that's 1.2 billion people with literally the whole world population by the end of March being infected, just at a 1.33. Now, we're hoping this is slowing. If we take the low of a 1.17, so only 17% increase per day. This is what happens with compounding numbers per day. At a 1.17, we're gonna see a 27,000, almost 28,000 on February 7th and jump to 32, etc. That still puts us at a million people worldwide by March 1st and then the number hits a billion by April 14th. That gets really scary really fast. Now, hopefully they can slow the growth down. If we slow it down to just a 1.1 number, which was, it, that'd be really hopeful. At a 1.1 number, you still have a billion, or a million people, a million people infected by March 17th. And uh, move that out into the future, by May 27th, you hit a billion already. That's, uh, that's really scary. Uh, way, way hopeful is to slow that number way down so that you're at a 1.05, less than a 5% increase per day. Even with that, even with that number, then we hit a million people infected by April 23rd. And uh, we run that down, and by September 20th, we're at a, at a billion. Now, we're all hoping that a cure happens by then, um, but these are, these are really scary numbers when you, when you see that kind of an increase per day. Be safe, guys.